Phil Ebener here with videoschoolonline.com, and today I'm answering a common question in my Premiere Pro class about relinking media in Premiere Pro. So first, let me get to why this happens, and then after that, I'll show you how to relink your media. So the reason is because you need to have any sort of media, that's your videos, your photos, your audio, anything that you've imported into Premiere Pro, it needs to be in the same location and it has to have the same file name and file structure as when you imported it. If you move the files around, if you rename them, if they were on an external hard drive that is now unplugged, Premiere Pro won't be able to edit with those files because it has to be able to read those files while editing. So that's a common issue that you know your external hard drive was unplugged that you had imported media from. So make sure that while you're editing, you do have a good folder structure. And after you're starting your project, don't rename things, don't move things around. But it's not a difficult thing to reconnect your files. You can either find the files up here in your project panel. Anyone with the little question mark symbol means it's not connected or down in your timeline, any of these ones that show up as red, you can right click and then choose link media. Up in the project panel, it's the same thing, right click and choose link media, and you can choose multiple at one time. In this project, I only have one clip that is not connected. And so what I'll do is select that clip, it's already selected up here, and choose locate. So I wanna click that locate button so I can find or tell Premiere Pro where it is. You have two options now. You can either find it manually yourself in this folder structure that has opened, or you can let Premiere Pro do the work. It will help if you know if it's in a larger folder or a subfolder or on a specific hard drive. For example, I can click this external hard drive that I have connected and click search and Premiere Pro will try to find it itself. Or I can go into it and do it myself and this last path up here gives me a clue where it might be, or at least part of the folder structure. I actually know exactly where this is because I actually moved it myself. So I know that it's under this video folder and it was in this YouTube folder, but now it's this video folder right here. And then within there, it's under the AVCHD file and I can see this folder structure under BDMV and then under stream. And sometimes if you have a folder with media files in it, you won't be able to see any of the files over here in the left because this is just your folder structure. You actually have to click on the folder itself and then over on the right hand side in this window or panel, you see all of the media clips themselves. So I know that this one is the 00001 file. So I can click on that file and now press okay. Once I've done that, Premiere Pro will link up the media it will show up in the timeline and in my preview monitor. And if you have multiple files that were disconnected, if they're in the same folder, then Premiere Pro most likely will intelligently figure that out and connect all of them at the same time. Sometimes you have to do it one at a time if your media is all over the place, but if it's in that same folder, it will should do it all at one time. So that's how you connect offline media in Premiere Pro. If you have any questions, let me know. Or if you're interested in the complete Premiere Pro class for beginners, I'll link to that below. It's a great class that will help you get started with editing in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful day.